about your vision for the arts in Chicano studies because I feel when you became part of our department, you definitely helped us evolve and transform and grow um, in the arts as providing training and skill set. So if you could maybe speak to sort of the work that you did and also your vision of why the arts is so important in Chicano studies. And you also painted a mural up in the art department with students too. With students from Chicano studies in the art department. Yeah, hi everybody. Um, let me say it's an honor to, to meet some of the artists that have done this mural. And I um, just want to say it's been really, let me get emotional. <laughs> It'll be 20 years this fall that I've been here in Chicago Studies. I came in 1999. And it really has been my privilege to be part of this department. Um, I don't know if you all realize, but it's really the Chicano Studies departments throughout California that have been responsible for maintaining and promoting Chicano and Chicano art because the art departments don't do it. Um, there's very little representation of, of Chicanas and Chicanas Latino, Latinas in the art departments, even today, and even in our campus. So it really has been, as I said, a privilege to work with, with my colleagues here and to learn from them, everybody. And um, it was really uh, amazing to come to a department where arts were really integrated into this department. I, I really am uh, grateful to people like Beto and uh, Fermin and Isabel who for promoting, you know, other aspects of the arts and for really, you know, um, helping students and mentoring them. So um, I'm an artist that's been working also for over 40 years. I um, did my undergraduate work, got a scholarship to go to UC Santa Cruz, and so. Uh, I worked a lot in community after I graduated. I worked in Long Beach. I worked with a group of young women and single mothers and had a group called La Nueva Chicana Homegirls Productions. And we did a lot of art projects. Um, I worked in different arts organizations. I, I'm saying this because I, I want you to understand that when I came here, it was with the vision of having already uh, been part of my community and what I learned in that community. So I worked at um, Self-Help Graphics for many years. I, I worked at Spark. I also worked at the Municipal Art Gallery in, in Barnstall Park after I got my, I waited 10 years, or 12 years to go back to get my MFA at UCLA. And I was disappointed when I went back to graduate school because there was no representation in the most multicultural city, right, in, in, the, in the country. There was no representation of people of color, full-time faculty, tenured. And so when I came to, to to Northridge, it was really amazing, first of all, because Northridge is one of the only places that has offered a full-time tenured position for an artist. That doesn't exist anywhere else. If you, even the other Chicago and Chicago Studies departments were always temporary adjunct, right? So this was, a, for me, uh, I saw this as really an opportunity to try to to work with my colleagues, to learn with my colleagues, and I learned a lot, and to try and develop curriculum because I didn't have that, and many, I think, of us didn't have that when we were in school. So I think my role here has mainly been to, first of all, uh, work with so so many amazing artists. It's been my it's been my privilege at the end to work with you other Chicago artists because when I was in school, um, I was always one of maybe two or three, or maybe just one, you know. And so, to be able to work with the, with my community, and of course working with other students as well, but work with my community, and you know, try to really, um, to really cultivate what our vision was as Chicana, Chicanos, Latinas, Latinos, right, in, in our in our work, and how we wanted that to evolve has been again my privilege. Um, so, I worked with Mary Pardo. Uh, you know, we, the, you know, Chicano Studies here is also really fortunate to have a master's program. And so one of the things that was, became really obvious to me is that we're, you know, there's so many um, artists in our department, they may not have studied art in the art department, but, you know, they're, they're artists. And so to be able to bring that into the master's program was really, you know, part of what Mary and I wanted to do. So we created a program and hopefully, you know, whoever comes after me will be able to build on that. So, so I think that uh, working with people like uh, uh, Lara Medina, 
um, who, you know, we, we've worked many years um, doing the Days of the Dead, but even before that, there was a tradition here in this department of doing Days of the Dead, starting back with Margarita Nieto, may she rest in peace, uh, starting with Isabel Nadera, you know, and, and so building on that, you know, being able to build on that. So now we have a, a really strong tradition of Dias de los Muertos here on this campus and that again has been, you know, going on for, for many years before I came here. And we now have a Noche de Ofrenda. So, you know, why are these important? It's important because, you know, when we think of institutions sometimes, it's like a bad word, but if we can institutionalize our, you know, our vision, you know, as, as um, Trini was talking about before, our cosmology, you know, into the, you know, academia, you know, it, and do it our way, you know, without, so many compromises, I think that that's really important. And so, you know, I'm able to teach a, a painting course, you know, so I just want to say it's been uh, such an honor to be able to be in a place that has really uh, allowed me and others to develop curricula that's relevant to our students. And so, so now if our, our you know, Chicano uh, students want to take art classes, they can take a painting course. They can take a Diaz de los Muertos course that integrates art. Um, you know, I did teach a master's course on Chicana artists, and, and again, you know, hopefully, you know, you know, these courses, you know, somebody else will come in and, and, and you know, build more curriculum. Um, so I think that, you know, we need to be, definitely, the arts need to be in Chicano states, and, and you are right, you know, the artists have always been integral, you know, to the Chicano movement and to, and to you know, Chicano studies, but we need to be in the art department as well. So there needs to be bridges, right? And so when I did this mural, um, I was able to do a mural on campus in the art department. Uh, I had attempted many times before to actually cross this my classes, but it never worked. So, um, you know, uh, the chair reached out to me and asked me if I, would, if I wanted to, they have a public art course. And he said, you want to teach a, a public art course? And I said, okay. I said, but only if you let me do a mural. <laughs> and they didn't want me to do a mural at the beginning. But then, you know, I persisted, and so we were able to do a mural. But why was that important? Because, you know, our crisis is important in Chicano studies, but there are so many Chicanos and Chicanas, Latinos, Latinos in the art department that, you know, and, and again, very little representation of people of color, you know, in the art departments. So I think that my role here has really been to uh, work with my colleagues, I've been able to do collaborations with my colleagues, to learn from my colleagues, uh, to to learn from my students, because I've learned so much from my students. I have to tell you that I, it's, it makes me so proud to work with my undergraduate, but the graduate students are so listos. You know, they're so prepared in a way that I wasn't, you know, when I was 17 and 18 and 20 and 21. So I'm always learning from my students as well. So anyway, I just want to say that um, Again, it, it really is Chicana and Chicano studies that have been responsible for maintaining the vision of what Chicana and Chicano art has been and can be, and um, hopefully that continues. And as Gabrielle was saying earlier, it's a struggle. It's always a struggle. We have to exert so much energy always just to maintain our space, to maintain our proper place, proper, I mean our place, in the institution. And sometimes I think, that is so important that just think about all the energy we always have to expend struggling. It's just like always the struggle, right? But I think that that's also part of our uh, part of our purpose, you know, and, and just maintaining that vision. Um, so I'm, I'm really proud to say that I've been able to be here for a while, and I look forward to seeing all the different, you know, and have wonderful. I've had wonderful students that are doing amazing work that have contributed so much. I'm honored. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.